Hey guys, we're up here at the Ultimate Reloader Mountain Shop. I just did an upgrade on my three phase conversion to a phase perfect from Phase Technologies. We're gonna talk about that selection process and do a performance comparison with our old rotary phase converter in this video. Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com. I'm up here at the Ultimate Reloader Mountain Shop. I'm hanging out with the team from Phase Technologies. Sam, thank you very much for joining me. Yep. This has been a fun trip. We did a couple videos down at the main shop. We've got a really industrial grade PT Performance, PTA030 that we put in down there. Yep. Totally amazing. And up here at the mountain shop, we've been running a rotary phase converter. This is one with a 20 horsepower idler motor. So it's rated for about 10 horsepower output. We put this whole comparison here to the challenge. We upgraded to a PTE 010, which is a 10 horsepower rated phase perfect, all digital phase converter. And what I wanted to do in this video is talk about why we selected this converter. And we're gonna do a direct comparison of motor startup performance on our 16 by 60 lathe. So let's talk a little bit about Absolutely. this setup here. I've got two 100 amp panels in my shop. They're both sub panels, actually. The main panel is outside. And that was kind of why I decided to go with a 10 horsepower rated system. Based on the current loads that I had with heating, yep. it seemed like a good fit. And then also, I don't have anything over 10 horsepower in terms right. of, of yep. motor horsepower. I really like the idea of having something that's tight up against the building. As you can see here, we installed the rain hood and that means we're kind of all weather certified, yep. which is nice. But I also did have some startup motor lagging with the, the big lathe in there. It's got a 75 pound chuck on it. Yep. And when you're going up to full speed, it just, it, it takes a while. And I know that's adding wear and tear to the electrical motor it, itself. It, it absolutely is, yep. And, yeah. and those big high inertial loads like, like your lathe, mm -hmm. you really need those voltages between the three phases to be balanced. Yeah. To, to help all three windings of the motor mm -hmm. pull together. Yeah, absolutely. And in terms of install, this is super si simple. You're gonna run a two phase, single phase circuit with two legs yep. on it. It's going to supply the panel um, with, you know, properly sized breaker and the appropriate current. And so that you, you've got two hots and a ground coming in and you have basically your three legs coming out of, of the machine. So it yep. couldn't that be easier to wire easy. up. Yep. What I think we should do next is let's check out this big lathe yep. and talk about the startup performance. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> so this is probably my go-to chambering lathe. This is the Precision Matthews TL 1660, 16 inch swing, yep. 60 inches between centers. But when you put a 75 pound articulating chuck assembly on it, it does really labor to, to spool up basically. Yep, for sure. So before we disconnected the rotary phase converter, we did a startup test. Let's check that out. Starting right. So then after we moved that sweep over to the PTE 010, got it wired up, ran the same exact startup test. Let's check that out next. So right away when I did the PTE 010 test, it was like, wow, this is a lot snappier. Cause yep. I've run this lathe quite a bit and I usually run it at full speed if I'm polishing sanding or doing finishing passes that are light, you know. Not only is this more convenient when you're running the machine, but obviously we're gonna save on that wear and tear as yep. well. Yep, and that's that's the difference with the, with the voltage balance. Yeah. So also in this shop, uh, we just completed a full gunsmithing lathe conversion on our PM1340 GT, really nice Taiwanese, high precision machine. It works great out of the box, but with all these mods, we're really ready to do a lot of, of barrel work. Here's what surprised me about that lathe is running three phase power, uh, really, really good surface finish for such a small yep. light machine. Even torque. Yep. I'm totally sold on three phase, basically. Yep, yep. <laughs> for sure. So. Uh, I'll also show you what we got going on over in the woodshop. Wood yeah. So as a part of what I'm doing with Ultimate Reloader and then also for a new house that we purchased, 
wanted to get a really nice wood shop set up. You know, I've always dreamt of yep. having proper outfeed. And then kind of one of the things I've used the most is the shaper. And what you find is when you get into that five horsepower range, yep. you know, things go three phase, basically inevitably. And uh, this is one of those cases where, you know, this is probably about a $3,000 machine brand new and the feeder's probably about 1200 or so. Got the entire thing for 600 bucks yep. at an auction. So uh, yeah, let me show you how this works. So yeah, you know, a nice industrial machine makes all the difference. I've yep. had router tables before. This is a whole different domain here. Yep. I can't wait to get this place. Yep. Well, fully yeah, get it do, out. Doing it like you've done it. Yeah. Running a PT mm -hmm. into a sub panel. Mm -hmm. Just gives you ultimate flexibility. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're looking for a solution for your shop, definitely look at these phase perfect units. We got a special deal for you all. If you mention Ultimate Reloader when you buy a phase perfect device, you can get a free additional year of warranty coverage. They're small, they're lightweight, they have great voltage balance, uh, great instantaneous current for you know motor startup and that kind of thing. Uh, and then when you get into comparing costs, that's one thing that we didn't talk about. When you get an outdoor rated enclosure and you get your rotary phase converter at that level, you're basically kind of breaking even. Yep. But then the larger you go. Yeah, the, the, in our big units, I mean, are, are really, really cost competitive, even before you look at the power savings mm -hmm. um, in efficiency. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is certainly really exciting at both shops. And just want to thank you for the help getting things specced out and Absolutely. getting things set up. We didn't turn out to need a lot of help with the wiring because it's just so simple. <laughs> You can do it if you buy one of these units. Get a good electrician to help you if you're not you know, used to doing wiring, but it's gonna be a super straightforward job nonetheless. Thanks again, yep, Sam, for absolutely. coming out. This has been a really fun trip. And make sure that you're subscribed with notifications because we've got a lot more cool rifle build content. You're gonna to wanna to check out the other two videos that we did related to power conversion technologies and then the install that we did down at the main FFL location for Ultimate Reloader, which was a bit more involved. We have a whole dedicated panel down there. We've got the PT-030, big industrial grade type stuff, and that opens up the door for some pretty cool CNC stuff. So if there's something specific that you wanna see or if you wanna join the discussion, tell me what you think of our new shop upgrade here with the Phase Perfect unit, drop a comment and we'll start a discussion in the comments section. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're watching Ultimate Reloader on TV and wanna take advantage of free resources, exclusives, and hot deals, just hold your camera phone up to the QR code, tap on the link, fill out the information, boom, you're getting Ultimate Reloader emails. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. Thanks again for watching.